Have you ever heard of radioactive mushrooms? That's right, wild fungi can be one of the most radioactive foods you eat. Now, today we have the opportunity to test some with this huge gamma spectrometer behind me. And later we will speak to an expert about our findings. But first we have to go find some mushrooms. Here we have our first golden chanterelle, the one we actually came looking for. As you can see, today they are quite vibrant because it's uh, just been raining. It's really late in the season and there aren't many of them around. But as you can see, you can clearly spot them when there are any. Here I have a very large porcini mushroom. These are quite tasty. We're back from the trip and brought two samples to quantify, Golden Chanterelle and the Bay Bow Lead. Now with me is Dr. Ernst Hinteregger, who is responsible for gamma spectroscopy here. Can you tell me about this machine behind us? Yes, hello. Uh, you see our high-end robotic gamma spectrometer. We use a high-purity germanium detector. It is a liquid nitrogen cooling system and we have approximately 1.5 ton lead around the measuring chamber to shield the sample from the ambient radiation. And so we achieve a very low detection limit, lower than one picker per kilogram. That's quite a lot of lead, so let's get to the results. So the results are in and I can already tell you we didn't find any worrying levels of radiation in the mushrooms. Both samples were well under the legal limit here of 300 becquerels per kilogram. Now, we did find uh, about 20 becquerels per kilogram in the golden chanterelle of cesium-137. And we didn't even get above detection limit on the bay bolide. We also measured potassium-40, which is the natural isotope that is radioactive of potassium and we got to about 100 becquerels per kilogram in the golden chanterelle and just about 60 in the bay bolide. We can also take a look at the spectrum we got. We measured cesium-137 at 662 kiloelectron volts. We also measured potassium-40 at 1460. You can also easily see the 511 kiloelectron volt annihilation peak of the beta plus decay from the potassium-40 mostly. This spectrum took about six hours to accumulate and you can clearly see the clean background because of the massive amount of lead shielding in this robotic gamma spectrometer. Finally, I have to say that the mushrooms I got for this video have been from a low fallout region and I actually know a place where there is quite a lot more, like up to 50 times more cesium in the earth and we can get some from there in the next foraging season so that I can measure them again using the same gamma spectrometer. If you enjoyed this video, you should definitely go and subscribe since there are more on the way. Also, great thanks to Treiberhaar for letting me film at their facilities. <laughs>